Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. So I'm gonna try a wing pour. I have here a contraption that I made. Basically, it's a five and a half ounce cup with a one ounce cup hot glued inside. You can only think of all the cool applications you could do with this. So, let's get started, shall we? This is a nine by 12 canvas. I have mixed my paints. Um, basically one to one with Floetrol uh, because you do want it thicker for this because you kind of want that um, when it's when the paint is thick and it's pouring out it'll it'll catch on the paint that's pulling and it'll pull away and then when it gets to maximum tension it comes back and that's kind of what gives you that wing effect and if it's too thin uh, you may not get that same effect and you'll probably get a bunch of cells. I'm going to get cells no matter what. Um, I just tried this with deco art pouring medium and I still got cells and the stuff dries so fast that I couldn't even finish tilting before it wouldn't move anymore. So I'm going to try this with Floetrol. Probably going to get cells. Um, but say la vie. So someone in Go Make Some Art requested this technique with the nested cups, and so I am trying to oblige. All right. So first things first, I will put the paint in my pouring cup. Actually, this is probably a little too thick. I have here Artist Loft Copper, Old Gold. I have uh, the black is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And the white is Liquitex Basics Titanium White because I seem to always get cells with the Flow Acrylic from Artist Loft no matter what I use. So I think if I'm trying to avoid cells, I probably need to avoid that paint as well. So all I did was hot glue this cup in there. Nothing fancy. Um, a different size canvas, you're gonna require different size cups, just keep that in mind. Okay, so the first color I will be doing is copper. And I might alternate these a bit, should I? Well, nah. We'll just do layers. There's not much space in between those cups, so it's a little bit tricky. I will do the black next. And the gold. Okay, white goes in the center. Okay, okay, I've got some white mixed up here. It is thinner than the other paints. You always want your base coat to be a little thinner so that the paints that you pour have an easier time sliding around. Okay, so I'm gonna prop this up on a cup 
to get it to run. Okay, so hold it close to the canvas. Okay, I did have a lot run off the back, but so far this is the best uh, attempt I've had. I'm just going to try to get as close to tilting it off, but not actually tilting it. As close as I can. Try to stretch that out. Here come the cells. Schmutz, I see schmutz. There were some lumps in my black paint. And though I mixed like crazy, there's still some in there. 
and I went off the side. Didn't want to do that. I did not want these to go off the side. Let me see if there's anything I can do about that. I'm gonna need more white. Okay, well, I can clean this up after it dries. As they say in the movies, we'll fix it in post. So let me grab you and bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. Cells and all. <laughs> so not exactly what I was going for, but you get the idea. You get the effect. Um, it is a really cool concept. And I have some ideas for when I get this, uh, this technique down and perfected. I have some really cool ideas for embellishments. Um, but in the meantime, I'll need to practice to get it perfect, just like anything else. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar. Um, if you feel so inclined, there's my Amazon link. And if you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission of at no extra cost to you. There is also the link to my website where I have paintings and uh, music for sale there. And uh, go make some art. The link to our Facebook group. Join us there. Post your masterpieces. And uh, if you find yourself in a painting pickle, there's always someone there who's able to help you. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.